Mantis spicata is one of many mint plants in the family Lamiaceae. In English-speaking countries, like the United States, England, and Canada, Mantis spicata is commonly referred to as spearmint. However, different cultures use different vernacular terms to refer to Mantis spicata. The Turkish call it Nain, while the Moroccans call it Nana, and other names vary in other countries. Typically, plants in the Lamiaceae family are used medicinally or aromatically, as culinary herbs or perfumes. Spearmint is no exception. Spearmint tends to grow in mainly temperate and some tropical climates such as the Americas, Europe, China, Brazil, and India. Mantis piccata is a perennial plant that can be domesticated or invasive. The plant itself has a very distinct look. The average spearmint plant height is under 1 meter, around 0.8 meters. A typical spearmint plant has around 80 leaves which are oval shaped and widest near the middle. The leaves are rigidly spiked on the edges and have small fibrous hairs on both sides. It buds white flowers in the form of spikes, as you can see in the picture. The flowers attract other species such as bees, which act as pollinators. It is said that Mentha spicata originated from a cross between Mentha longifolia and Mentha suavolens. Spearmint has also been crossed with other species to create new varieties like peppermint. The growth of spearmint varies through different countries and cultures. Spearmint is cultivated in every state of the United States besides North Dakota. Spearmint is a global product that is domesticated in China, India, Brazil, and throughout Europe as well. In some areas, Mantha spicata grows wild. For example, Crete has no extensive spearmint cultivation, but resorts more to horticulture and wild species. Similar wild native spearmint species have been found in the Balkan Peninsula and Western Turkey. Spearmint came from Europe and is specifically suspected to have originated in the Balkan Peninsula. Therefore, it makes sense that wild species of Mantha spicata are commonly found in places like Turkey and Greece. From the Balkan region, spearmint was spread and naturalized through most of Europe, the Mediterranean, and North America. Usually, spearmint is grown in large fields and farmed for their essential oils. However, there are instances of wild spearmint patches that arise more often near the point of origin. Spearmint is also a plant that is often grown in home gardens. Since its cultivation, the growth of spearmint has spread throughout many countries. Now the spearmint plant can be found growing in Asia, the Middle East, and the United States in addition to Europe. More recently, spearmint cultivation has spread to South America as well. In the 18th century, spearmint became particularly popular as a part of the mint sauce for lamb preparations. Spearmint was imported from England to America during colonization. And when it came to America, spearmint was originally grown in New York before agriculture moved west into Indiana and Michigan. Today, the industry in the U.S. has concentrated itself on the west coast and in the northeast, as you can see in the graph. There are accounts that the Hebrew people ritually laid spearmint on synagogue floors. The Greeks used spearmint as a natural aphrodisiac and the Romans were said to use spearmint for its aroma to stimulate one's appetite. Different cultures develop their own uses for mentha spicata, and these uses are versatile. While some traditionally ritualistic uses have diminished, other medicinal and culinary applications have been maintained through traditional knowledge. Depending on the intended use for spearmint, people prepare the plant differently. Some cultures, like the people of Turkey, simply boil the mint with water to create a tea. These Turkish people also infuse the mint into a paste that is used to treat colds or as a gastro stimulant in chutneys. Among several preparations, they can be used whole, chopped, ground frozen, preserved, preserved in salt, or dried. To get the maximum yield of terpenoids and essential oils, though, newly flowering tops are steam distilled. Besides for flavoring purposes, spearmint is used by indigenous societies as a medicine. One of the main uses of spearmint is to treat and prevent gastrointestinal problems. In Iran, the leaves are used to soothe an upset stomach and combat diarrhea. Spearmint is also traditionally used in the treatment of basic colds and fevers. Research has shown that mentha spicata has certain innate chemical properties that make it naturally antimicrobial. Traditional societies have been using spearmint to treat colds and flus for centuries, like the indigenous people of Iran, the Cherokee in North America, and the indigenous Brazilians. There are many other medicinal uses of mentha spicata that can be found around the world. Commonly, spearmint is used for respiratory ailments in Greece, as an anti-emetic in Greece and with the Cherokee, as a pesticide in Iran, to treat dandruff in New Mexico, and furthermore, spearmint is used as, as an analgesic and carminative, and is used to reduce flatulence. Many different products are made from spearmint. Besides the usual teas and beverages, spearmint is also used to produce jellies, syrups, ice creams, and confections. Even when cultures prepare meats like lamb with spearmint, the inclusion is intended for its taste and or medicinal qualities. Some of the main allelo chemicals found in spearmint include essential oils, terpenoids, and flavonoids. The terpenoids in essential oil content is the most notorious and sought after by industry. These are responsible for mentha spicata's aroma. The terpenoids in essential oils that are present in spearmint include carvone, limonene, and dihydrocarbon. Carvone is the most abundant compound in the oil at around 46 to 77 percent, followed by limonene and dihydrocarbon. The total essential oil content of a cultivated spearmint plant is usually under 2 percent. 
The flavonoids in spearmint play a major role in scavenging free radicals, so different cultures use spearmint as a natural source of antioxidants. These chemicals are non-volatile and also play a role in the anti-mutagenic activity of spearmint. Additionally, spearmint has low fat content and relatively high carbohydrate and vitamin value. Spearmint has been found to elicit several health responses in the body. For one, menthol spicata displays high antibacterial and antifungal activity. In one study, the essential oil inhibited the growth and reproduction of E. coli. This antimicrobial quality of spearmint may be why menthol spicata is used for oral care products. The components of spearmint also display antioxidant qualities. S. carbone has been proven to produce relatively higher antioxidant activity by stabilizing the free radicals. In vivo, menthol spicata has shown the tendency to reduce hirsutism in women with polycystic ovarian syndrome. Hirsutism, or excessive hairiness on women, is a sign of excessive androgen in the body. Spearmint reduces this hirsutism by suppressing androgen production. Spearmint has been documented to interact with certain compounds. For example, the essential oil was found to inhibit the mutagenic activity of a compound known as IQ. Although menthol spicata can be beneficial to human health, there are some dangers associated with it. Some people, for example, have a contact allergy to the leaves of menthol spicata. The LD50 value for spearmint is 5,000 milligrams per kilogram, so spearmint is a relatively safe food. One other toxic factor to consider with spearmint is lipid peroxidation. A tea made with menthol spicata caused lipid peroxidation. This effect was dose-dependent and only was present at high doses. Now spearmint is cultivated in Asia, Europe, and the Middle East and the United States. The main nine U.S. countries involved in spearmint oil industry include China, India, Russia, England, France, Spain, and Germany. The world market for spearmint oil is approximated to be around 1,500 tons per year. Of that, the world's two largest mint oil companies hold 50% of the demand, and the next four largest control 20 to 30% of the market. The Far West Marketing Order, or FWMO, which includes spearmint production in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Nevada, and Utah, accounts for 70% of the world's menthol spicata production and processing. The FWMO dominates the market, followed by the Midwest United States, followed by foreign companies. The price of spearmint has been increasing over the past decade. In 1998, the price for U.S. and Canadian spearmint was $11 per pound, but this price has steadily increased due to low inventory, increasing manufacturing costs, and loss of plantation acreage. The major market for spearmint oil is in mint flavor. Spearmint flavor bombards many supermarket shelves. Prominent end uses for spearmint oil include toothpaste, mouthwash, chewing gum, and candy. And of course, the spearmint plant maintains its culinary importance, including lamb mint sauces and tea infusions. Menthol spicata is an extremely versatile plant with many uses. It can be grown in most temperate climates around the world, so its reach is widespread. Different cultures will utilize the plant differently, from its pungent aroma and taste in cooking to its intrin intrinsic medicinal qualities. When using spearmint, dosage and intent must be considered to achieve the desired result. The terpenoids, essential oils, and flavonoid content is responsible for the majority of the health benefits of the spearmint. Unfortunately, most of the world does not recognize the health benefits that spearmint offers. As we enter the post-antibiotic era, spearmint could play an important role in preventative medicine. Its innate antioxidant and antimicrobial properties can be exploited before a disease is able to take over the immune system. The active constituents of spearmint may be able to neutralize free radicals, bacteria, fungal infections, or viruses before they are able to do damage. The production pathway for spearmint is already set up. People now just have to utilize it correctly.